Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends. This is Monday. It's May the 18th and I've got uh, Suzanne Opperman on the phone with us. Good to have you, Suzanne. Thank you. Happy to be here. Yeah, we're going to talk about smart recovery. Now, you've been on Radio Friends uh, several times in the past, but you you have something new today to talk about because you you've started more in depth with smart recovery, correct? That is correct. Yes. Um, so I tell me now, about it. I'm now what's considered to be a local coordinator. So I'm now working on developing smart recovery links throughout Mid Missouri, Jeff City, all the way up past Macon, and I'm trying to recruit people that might be interested in doing the facilitator training so that we can make smart recovery more available in this area. Because currently, my Monday evening smart recovery group, which starts at 6 o'clock and currently is online because of shelter in place, and the VA also offers smart recovery to inpatients only. People listening right now, if they haven't heard you before, they may be scratching their head and saying, what is SMART recovery? Why, why don't you explain that? Okay. SMART is an acronym for self-management and recovery training. The focus is on self-management. It's not uh, having a sponsor or other people that guide you, direct you. It's teaching yourself how to manage your thought process about whatever your dependency, and the old word is addiction. We don't like to use that word because it's very, um, has a lot of negative connotations to it. So we use the word dependency. So it covers chemical dependency as well as activity dependencies. So you what have, you act- you know, what do you mean by activity dependency? Okay. The chemical dependency, as everyone knows, is the drugs, alcohol, cigarettes, anything that you add, put into your body that's chemically based. The activity dependencies are things like that you can't stop doing, gambling, uh, eating disorders, uh, internet addiction, sexual addiction, any activity that you have found assists you in relieving acute stress levels that end up having not great outcomes for you in relation to your loved ones, family members, it's affecting your job, just as a chemical dependency can have those kinds of effects. So smart recovery helps you look at what you're doing and breaking down the why, wherefore, how comes you think that way about yourself usually has to do with your lifelong trials and tribulations, things that have happened to you in your past, relationships, bad situations, and you turned to something outside of yourself as a chemical or an activity to relieve that stress and anxiety that you are feeling. So, Okay, so how do you change how do you change your dependency or how do you change your activity once you're, you've fallen into that? And I want to use the word trap. Once you've fallen into that trap of, of dependency. That's a, yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it. Um, smart recovery is based on evidence-based research. It uses what's called rational emotive behavioral therapy, which was originally developed by Albert Ellis. And it also uses cognitive behavioral therapy. So these are therapy approaches that have been proven in research studies to work. The very first step is somebody has to want to do it. And I loosely use the word step because Smart Recovery has a four-point program. The four-point program takes you step-by-step through the stages of change. The stages of change are things like, let's say you've decided you don't want to smoke anymore. Well, that's your first decision is I want to quit smoking. So you think about all the bad reasons that you smoke and you say, okay, it's bad for my health. It makes my clothes stink. Um, Currently, nobody likes it, so I have to go outside in the weather. And then you think, well, let me see what I can learn about how to stop doing this. So there's all kinds of programs that help people. There's some medications that help them to not want to do that activity or chemical. 
Then you come to the contemplative stage where you say, okay, I am ready to think about seriously doing this. It's not just a flighting thought. It's not feeling guilty. I'm ready to really look into doing this, which then takes you to the preparation stage. And you learn about whatever approach that you want to use to get stop this activity, changing your thought process. It's like, okay, uh, I'm feeling really nervous. I gotta have a cigarette. That is an activating event. Something made you really anxious, nervous. The next step is your beliefs. So these are called the ABCs. You break down your thought process about how it is that you approach your cigarette smoking. So what situations cause you to want to have a cigarette? What are your beliefs about that? Your beliefs at this point is it's going to make me feel better. Well, let, let, me, inter- let me interrupt one minute here now because we're, we're almost out of time, Suzanne. But you, you, all of this makes perfect sense to me. But if someone is not ready, if they haven't decided that they need help, is there any way that you can help them or do they have to make that decision themselves become and and reach out to smart recovery they have to make that decision themselves however family members and loved ones can help but not by trying to force someone to change they can help by providing positive feedback to that person like oh thank you i I noticed that you came to dinner and you hadn't drank tonight i really appreciate that because i feel removed from you when i drink but the nagging, complaining, moaning, griping, um, isolating. That, that does nothing, right? It makes it worse. Absolutely okay. makes it's, it worse. If people uh, want more information on this yeah. or they want to become a part of Smart Recovery, what shall they do? There is a website. Smart Recovery is a nonprofit organization. Smartrecovery.org is where all the information is available. And right now with the shelter in place, there are over 60 online meetings every week. There are meetings every day and they're all online. Right now we're not doing person to person to stay safe. Okay. And the website again is? Smartrecovery.org. Smartrecovery.org. Suzanne Opperman, we are out of time, but uh, I want you to come back again and we'll, we'll pick up where we left off. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you, Susan. Uh, You're welcome. That's it for our show today. We'll see you tomorrow on Radio Friends. Bye-bye.